Let's turn back to meteorologist Cedric Haynes on this Wednesday afternoon. And Cedric, I know you're talking about chances of some afternoon downpours a little later today. That's right, Latrice, and that's pretty much uh, what we're seeing out there right now. Clouds, some scattered downpours showing up across the area, but there is a very minute low end chance that one or two of these uh, showers could get strong briefly. So that's what we're going to be watching for as we go throughout this afternoon. So let me show you the severe weather outlook again. The greatest risk of severe weather today will be well to our north up towards Ohio, Indiana, Ohio, uh, Pennsylvania. That's where the actual main energy will be. We're on the trail end of this front here, so there's just not a lot of dynamics to produce any widespread severe weather, but with that being said, we are under a level one marginal risk for an isolated strong storm across the entire Tennessee Valley. But I just don't see a lot happening with the clouds, the stable air, and really the, the main energy well to our north. But with that being said, be alert. One or two of these showers could get strong enough briefly to produce some gusty winds and maybe some small pea sized hail. And that will be the primary concern as we go throughout the evening. All right, let's take a look at the weather map here. You'll be able to see the storm system here and let's kind of break it down for you again. There's your low pressure. So whenever you see the low pressure way up north like that, that means that the greatest risk of any energy with the storm system is well to our north. Now we watch for the warm front and the cold front where those all intersect. We call that the triple point. So that tells us right around Ohio, Indiana, Michigan, that's where you're going to have the greatest risk of seeing the energy and the moisture coming together for severe weather. Notice how we're at the very tail end of this front moving through. Not a lot of dynamics with that. But with that being said, as we zoom in, you can see we've got a band of scattered downpours, maybe a little bit of lightning with this activity and a lot of cloud cover. So the air is very stable. There's not going to be anything that's really going to help create uh, the make the atmosphere become destabilized much this afternoon. But we've got these scattered downpours moving through across the upper portions of the Tennessee Valley through Dunlap, Mont Eagle over towards Chattanooga, Scottsboro and Fort Payne. And again, a lot of this is just some rain, uh, maybe a lightning strike or two in there as you get towards Mont Eagle over towards Jasper and then the same story up towards Dayton and Dunlap and then down across northeast Alabama. And that rain is about to move into uh, Chattanooga. So let's time it out with future cast here hour by hour as we go throughout the afternoon this light rain will basically move from west to east. So by two o'clock, the best chance of rain will be from Murphy down towards Dalton, Lafayette and Fort Payne. Notice if you're up along the plateau, you're probably dry. And then by four or five or six o'clock, we may see a little redevelopment south of the Tennessee border across northwest Georgia. And again, one or two of these may become strong briefly, and that's where we could see maybe some gusty winds or some small hail. By seven to eight o'clock, this is pushing south and out of the area. We're drying things out by 11 o'clock tonight, so we're going to be quiet as we go throughout the overnight hours. And Thursday is looking quiet here in the Tennessee Valley. And then as we get into your Thursday night after midnight, heading into Friday morning, we'll watch to the north where we may see a complex of storms drifting down towards the south. And that's where we could have a little better chance, maybe of some gusty winds and maybe an isolated strong to severe thunderstorm coming through Thursday night into Friday morning before that kind of clears on out of here. So again, Yes, it's a storm alert weather day. Do I expect a lot of severe weather today? Absolutely not. Do I expect any flooding today? Absolutely not. But again, some scattered showers could impact your outdoor plans. Upper 60s to low 70s out there, fairly mild right now. Again, as we go throughout the afternoon, these scattered showers, a couple of isolated rumbles of thunder possible. One strong storm is possible. Not likely, but still just stay weather aware just in case as we go throughout this afternoon. We'll see those highs in the 70s thanks to the clouds and the scattered showers that will be, of course, making their way across the area. But the next big thing is this is not the only chance, as I mentioned, of scattered showers and storms. We get this first wave to move through the area. We get that break on Thursday and then here we go on Friday, Thursday night into Friday morning. That second wave moves through with the front that kind of clears out of here during the afternoon hours on Friday, Saturday. That front is to our south, so we stay dry. But here comes that next wave of low pressure on Sunday, bringing us, yes, another chance of rain. I think Sunday's chance of rain may be the best chance throughout the entire week. So Saturday, mainly dry for your weekend with a lot of sunshine, 60s cooler with more rain, though returning on your Sunday. As far as those rainfall totals, again, still looking like about a half inch to an inch as we go throughout the entire seven days. So Latrice, yes, it's a storm alert weather day, but primarily for some rain that can impact you during the afternoon hours. Otherwise, look at that. We're back up in the mid 80s for your Thursday before cooler weather this weekend. Okay, thank you so much there, Cedric.